hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is kaya for any of you that are new in today's video we'll be installing the new sensational adana unit so if you guys are interested in seeing it make sure you continue to watch thank you also to ebony line for providing today's wig and without further ado let's go ahead and jump into today's video all right you guys so today i have the unit in the color flamboyage mocha and this unit does come in other colors if you're not feeling the mocha shade but this mocha shade has more of a brown tone to it and you get the mocha highlights that are dedicated on the side of the unit and they will show in whichever style you choose to wear this unit in the lace does come a tad bit pale, so I did tint it with some tint spray in medium brown. This tint spray can be found in your local beauty supply store. And then I just dried that down with my blow dryer because you don't want that tint spray spreading onto your forehead, okay? Now I'm just playing with where I want the lace to sit, making sure that it is even. This hairline is looking great so far. So to tack this unit down, I am gonna use the Got To Be Gel as well as the Got To Be Free Spray. Those two have been something that I've just been reaching for a lot lately and they do not fail me and they will hold this lace in place okay that kind of rhymed <laughs> so i'm just going to spray that all around the perimeter of my forehead just making sure that it is stuck in place and i will dry that down with my blow dryer so far so good i am going to end up plucking the sides of the lace i do feel like the side of it was just a little bit on the thicker side more so in the middle it is it is a lot more plucked in the middle but i just wanted to go ahead and pluck the side some just to kind of thin that out and make it look as natural as possible in case i wanted to pull the hair back it plucked really nice as well i actually have not plucked many synthetic wigs to be honest um, usually I just leave them be and just roll with it but I actually think I might start plucking the lace a lot more now because it takes well it actually doesn't mess up the lace like I kind of thought it would which is great so now I'm gonna move on to cutting this lace off and as you can see it definitely blended pretty well with that spray and that tint spray also I just went over it again with the got to be spray because it melts it like that final time and just makes it blend into your skin a lot better and then I actually went over it with some makeup as well just to kind of tint that um, where I might have removed some of my makeup as well So the lace is really easy to work with you guys i don't think it requires too much work the plucking that i did was light adding the tint spray light if you are my skin tone or even a little bit lighter or darker i think you would need some type of makeup or spray just to tint the lace down but other than that it still is really good quality lace it's very thin and it melts and blends pretty pretty well I also went in and added a little bit of edges just to make it a little bit more playful, you know, a little bit more designed, super easy edges to work with. I like that they're very thin. The texture of this hair is great. I really love the texture of this hair as well. I feel like it mimics natural hair very well if it were to be straightened or blow dried. A hot comb was essential today just to make sure that my roots were as flat as possible. I do like for my roots to be a little bit more flat the color placement of the highlight portions are really nice also. This unit is very versatile. You can style it however you would like. I am going to show you guys three different styles. I recommend combing out the curls also just so you can have a more just so you can have a more settling look to the hairstyle. It also adds a little bit of length once you comb it out as well. I did end up adding just a little bit of makeup to my parting space. However, it was pretty visible before the makeup. The three styles that I'm showing you is a middle part, side style, as well as a half up, half down do.
Yeah, you guys, I highly recommend trying out this unit. It's definitely one to put in your collection, whether you want it in the mocha shade or any of the other shades that they offer, or if you just want it in the plain black shade. This is a great quality wig, everyday wig. I had no problems out of this wig, no shedding, no tangling. Very simple, gives you a bunch of options, big head friendly. So if you guys are interested in the unit, make sure you check out my description bar. I'll have a direct link there as well. Thank you again to Ebony Line for sending over today's wig. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.